Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed from Erin Reed Makes, and today we're going to be making some really, really cool mugs from Craft Express. Welcome to the show. Okay, we're all good. So Craft Express is an amazing company that does all things heat presses and sublimation. And so if you can print it out, if you've got vinyl, or you've got markers, paints, or inks that you can heat transfer onto a surface, a blank, this is what this company is all about. So we are going to be playing today with specifically with the mug press. There we go. So the mug press is really cool. The first thing I did is I turned it on. So let me just turn it off so you guys can see. I wasn't turning it off. So see the difference there? All right. So let's start from the beginning. To turn your heat press on, your mug press on, you're going to push the button. Ta-da! Now, it is going to be warming up. So I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like flashing right there. Oh, I don't need to hold my hand, but it's flashing red right here, which means it is warming up. It's doing its thing. It dinged at me to tell me it was turning on. And if you want to see any of the super short videos at Craft Express, you can head over to their YouTube channel. All the information, they're like a minute long or less um, video about how to turn on the machine, how to change the settings, all that fun stuff. Okay. So in case you missed it at the beginning of the video of this video and you just want to get a little snippet they're all there plus all the links for the supplies we're using today and also all of the links to go to craft express and Aaron Reed makes are all down below okay so here we have our craft here we have it now when it's on the light is green all right so if you want to start it you could actually start it by pushing the button and you can see it starts closing it's pretty self-explanatory but I don't want to start this because there's no mug in here. I wanted to turn it off. I'm like, oh crap, oops, I forgot to do that. Just push the button for three seconds and it turns off and it'll open back up again. So now it's off. No lights are on, everything is good. But how do I change the settings? So for the mugs that we're gonna be playing with today, I don't know if you guys saw the mugs behind me here, they're really cool. We're gonna be playing with, and let me show you guys, these really, really pretty glitter mugs. Look at these gorgeous glittery mugs. And these are all gonna be like inspirational mugs, mugs to give away as presents to your teachers or to somebody who's just special in your family. And we're gonna do a lot of different ways to apply um, product to this to make it just not a glittery mug. So they have the silver, there's also this ombre, really pretty like pink to silver, but there's also a orange to silver. There's an all pink one. There's a ton of different beautiful mugs that are not just your plain standard white. They're super gorgeous and they're just, they're lots of fun. So when you go to the website, there's, if you click on which mug you're gonna, that you're using, it says the heat settings that you need to have. And I wrote mine down. Mine is 360 degrees for 120 minutes. So since I'm using all the glitter mugs for this, let's go ahead and change our settings for our heat press. So the first time you're gonna hold this down and you're gonna keep holding it down for, there it goes. So she, see it showed up? So I need 300 and the first button is the temperature. So I need 360 and I was at 364, 374. So I need to change that again. And it went away because I didn't do anything. So I'm going to hold it down until the light pops up. There it goes. And then I just toggle it over. So I'm going to go to 365 because that's about right. Now I'm going to hold the button because I need it to go to the 100 minute mark. I want it to go as long as possible. So I'm going to hold this down and there, there's the temperature keep holding it and then all the lights pop up. And the light that is not indicated is the one that is for the time. So I now have this set for 100 minutes for 365 degrees. I should be good. I can always do a little bit of an extra, I can let it stay in there a little bit longer if I wanted to. The machine is off, I just changed the settings. Okay, so what can we actually do? How does this whole thing work? So with, there's a whole bunch of different kinds of ways that you can add either vinyl, a printed image, or also you can paint, draw with special pens, sublimation pens to your mugs. I'm gonna check on you guys' comments real fast. Good morning, everybody. Hey, Vic, hey, Jerry. Hello, hello. <laughs> now we finally have sound, right? <laughs> All right, so the first one I'm gonna show you is a really easy one. It is with a heat transfer vinyl. So you're gonna go into your cutting platform, whatever you use to cut, and you're gonna cut out. Now I have made some special, um, let me pull this up real fast. Here we go. So this is a free one. It's on my website. They're free cut files. We already made one together. So let me show you this one. Dun, da, da. 
There we go. So you can get this over my website, free cut file link is down below. So here it is on this really pretty mug and I just did it in black. Super simple, right? So let me show you how to do that one. So I have, here it is. Let me move the heat press off the side and I'm going to go ahead and turn this. Well, I'm going to wait. Really don't need to, it's already kind of warmed up. It takes a few minutes to warm up, but we're there pretty much already. So I went ahead and cut this out and I went ahead and weeded all the little bits and pieces for it, right? I have already also gone ahead and taken a lint roller to all of my mugs. And so you want to do that to any of your blanks. You want to make sure that you really get your lint roller nice and clean and make sure there's nothing kind of sticking to your space, right? To your, to your thing, to your blank. And so we're going to take our image and when you cut it out, just to make sure, because it's going to cut this way, you want to make sure you always do the mirror image. Flip this over right here, and I like it so because I'm right-handed, I want to see my image, but you could also do it to that side. You could also do one to that side and that side. It's your call. But I'm going to do it to this side this time. Of course, I put my image down. So we're going to place this here, just like that. And then the key thing is you can't just put this in like this. We have to make sure that it is stuck in place, right? So we're gonna go in and we're adding, just wanna show you, I have a little bit of some transfer tape here. So this is not transfer, so this is heat tape. This is a special tape that you can use to make sure that it does not wiggle around on you. It is a special tape that is used for heat presses. You don't wanna use just any old tape because it could melt and it could cause problems. So make sure you're using a good heat tape and make sure it's on there pretty decently. We don't want to, let's, more is more in this instance. If you go a little bit too less, you could have a problem. So we just wanna make sure this is nice and on here. The second thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we do not put anything on the inside of our heat press here. So this is a coating that we don't wanna get color, anything gunky on there. So the best thing to do is get some transfer paper. So, whoops, I need to tape that better. See, this is why tape is better, more is more. There we go. It's also having a hard time with the glitter. It's all good. It works. Don't worry. It works. And it's going to stay on there better once we put our transfer paper on there. So I'm just going to put a few more pieces of tape on here. And if your tape is still sticky, it's reusable. I've reused a whole bunch of the tape. So we're going to get our paper. We're going to do a little bit of cutting. This paper is not wax paper. This is not butcher paper. This is a special transfer paper to make sure that we do not transfer anything onto what we're pressing. This could work for your heat press. This could work for you know, your home iron, whatever you're using to transfer, you always want to protect your, your heat presses of any kind. Grab some more of our transfer tape, not transfer tape, heat tape. I keep saying the word transfers and heats are having a hard time today, I swear. All right, so anything that is here is now not gonna come and get onto our mug press. So we're gonna take our mug press, we're gonna turn the mug press on and it's still gonna warm up for a quick second, but since it's been on recently, it's gonna not take as long to fully warm up. From being a completely cold machine to full warm up, give it two, three, four, five minutes and you will get there no problem. So that is all done. We're just gonna wait for that to warm up. And then while that's gonna be pressing, we're gonna move on to our next, just to show you guys a few other fun ones while that's warming up. My daughter went through and she colored using, markers. So there's a whole bunch of beautiful markers out there. These are ones that are from uh, Artist Spree and they have a wide range of colors. And so this is what she drew. So she drew this and we're actually going to give this to her teacher. She made two of them. So we're going to do the other one together. So she made this for her teacher. And this is what the mug looked like when it came out. Isn't that super cute? So she did all of her own drawings and then stuck it on here. And then look how adorable that is. Isn't that the cutest thing in the world? I love that. So she's going to give this, she's in fifth grade. And so she's split. She has a teacher for math and science, and then she has a teacher for ELA and reading. And so she flips between the two classrooms. And so we always have to have two gifts for her teachers. All right. So do you guys hear that little ding? That means it is ready. All right. So all we're going to do is retain our heat press. Let me get this other stuff out of here. Let's move this a little bit forward so you guys can see everything that's going on. And here is the coolest part. This is like super, super ready for you to do it. You just pop it in and watch the magic here. Should have my heat glove on. I'll put it, oops. See this, see how it shifted around? I need to tape this better. If anything wiggles, tape it better. Don't force it. So I need to put some more tape right here. All right, I'm gonna do one more. You don't want anything to wiggle on you. So if it's wiggling, add more tape. 
All right. And then you can always put the extra paper up there. All right. And then slide this in. There. See how it didn't wiggle? Now watch. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? I love that. You don't have to do anything fancy. It's already starting to time itself. You can see it beeping, telling me, hey, it's going, it's doing its thing, and just like set it and forget it. When you hear it beep again, that means it's gone through its whole cycle and it's all good. But we're gonna let this go a little longer and I'll show you what happens just in case. Okay, so this was my daughter's mug. So let's prep the other one that she got ready for. So the other one, which is we're gonna use the ombre glitter one. She made this one and she on the backside, she was really smart. She took the marker on the backside and went, okay, well, that's where pretty much it changes color, right? So this was just I was like, how fun, make something for your teachers. Let's see what you're going to do. And she goes, okay, I want to put the black pieces at the bottom and put these pieces at the top. And I want the colors to be kind of similar to what's in the mug. So that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and tape this up. So while this is getting ready, we're going to tape up our next element. Now, all we did is this is copy paper, plain old copy paper. I cut it down to size and I actually measured. I personally like having a little bit of room at the top and the bottom. So if you notice as the mug is sitting here, you've got a tiny bit of room. We're gonna go right to the edge here. So see how there's a little bit of a gap? When oh, I didn't put that on straight. Straight is key. There, so see how I have a little space here and here? You could go all the way to the edge, but I wanted to give myself just a little bit of room here and there. We got so many amazing people on right now. Hello, hello, everybody. We've got Donna and we've got Shirley and Sue. Welcome, welcome, Danielle. Hello, everybody. Okay, so I measured this so that it would go all the way to the edge here. And we've got a little bit of room top and bottom. Again, if you wanted to go all the way to the top, you could. But I like it kind of centered. You could make your paper a little bit bigger if you wanted to as well. So let's shift. There we go. And there, so now that's on there. We're gonna do a little bit more taping to make sure everything gets on there. So it's not gonna wiggle, especially these corners. Really get into the corners. This is probably the most finicky part of the whole thing is making sure that your paper, if you're doing like you printed paper and you're doing transfer paper, that everything is lined up. Awesome question, Shirley. This is the Craft Express Mug Press. So it works for both the 12 and the 14. So this is a 12 inch mug or 12 ounce mug. But if you have a little bit of a taller mug, it works as well. Now, the next question probably people are gonna ask me is like, can I just go to Dollar Tree and get any mug I want and then transfer stuff onto it and heat press it? And the answer is it has to have a poly coating. So some things at Dollar Tree or anywhere else would do that. But your best, best way to make sure that you're not buying something and you spend all this time on it um, and make sure that you buy something that's from the poly coating. All the items from Craft Express have a poly coating on them. So you know they're going to take heat transfer and sublimation, no problem. So that's your best answer for that in terms of what, where can I get the blanks. This is specifically the mug press. So if you're wanting to make fun gifts, this is a perfect way. If like you got Christmas gifts, teacher's gifts, you're going to do something for the wedding. You want to make a whole bunch of really pretty mugs as your giveaways for like your wedding presents or like your little treat favor treats. I mean, sky's the limit and how many colors of mugs, what element you put on there. There's so many fun ways, right? All right, so this is still going. This has got a little while to go. Hi, Vedette. Hi, Shirley. Hopefully I answered your question. I'm going to put another one right here. And then we're going to do one at the bottom. And now we got to add our paper again. And we're going to, this one's going to be the most obvious why you need to make sure you have your paper on there. Because you do not want to get color on your mug press. Because then if there's color on the mug press on the inside, every other time you go to do an image and you transfer your image, it's going to have a problem. And you're going to have, oh, do you hear it? It dinged. Now it dinged and it's telling me, okay, it's done. But what if I want to go a little bit longer or I didn't hear it ding? We're going to let it do its thing. And it's okay to let it go longer than it needs to. You're not going to hurt it. Only key thing is, it's going to be really, really hot when it comes out. So I'm pretending I didn't hear the ding, even though there really is a ding. And you'll see what's going to happen. It is pretty cool. It's like a super smart mug press. And this is like super crinkly. <laughs> so I'm just putting the, the heat paper on, the transfer paper heat paper, protective paper, protective, that's the word, protective paper. And I'm lining it up so I don't have any at the bottom. And whatever is at the top, 
is just going to get crunched over. So we're going to put this off to the side and let's wait for that to get done. But I wanted to show you another mug. This one is probably my favorite. I love this one. Look at this guy. So this is this plain old silver that we have. Um, yes, it will open. And that's why I want everybody to see what's going on. So it's going to open. It's so cool. So here we have this one. So what I did to show you, I cut out a sheet of paper. This is, look at that. Ta-da, look at that. That is so much fun. So it's done. Now what I'm gonna make sure I do is I have a heat glove. So I'm gonna put on my heat glove. This is super duper duper hot. I mean like scorchingly hot. So I'm gonna put my glove on, I'm gonna pop this out and I do not wanna touch any of the actual mug because it is hot, right? Okay, so we're gonna then go over and I have this left over from my other heat press. It's just, you know, it's, it's a protective kind of pad to take heat. And I'm just gonna rest this on here, just off screen and let this cool down. I don't wanna touch this while it's screaming hot because I don't wanna get burned. So just be careful. That is the one caveat that kids can totally make all the designs. They can color, they can do all the stuff. They can you know, cut out the things from all of the SVG files and stuff. But when it comes to them touching the machine, they can put it in maybe with some, with some supervision, but parents, please, you take it out. It is hot. <laughs> Screaming hot. All right, so we're gonna transfer this over. I'm just gonna put this off screen and we're gonna come back to the really, really pretty one. I'm just gonna rest that there so I can move my, so all the mugs when they come out are going on that heating pad just to make sure that everything is okay. All right, so now we are gonna take the one that we did with my daughter's mug that's all prepped and ready to go and we're gonna pop this guy in. Da, da, da. Oh, see, it got a little stuck. I need to put, so this is getting stuck right there. A little bit of tape in the corner. Don't force it. Let it have it be able to go in without having to like shove it in. Otherwise you're gonna move your image around. I'm add, yes, I bought the mug. The mug is from Craft Express and I'm adding the really pretty details. That ombre mug is already ombre. It's really cool. So see how this just slides right in? There's a sensor at the bottom that says, I sense there's a mug. It's gonna squeeze it to make it nice and tight to give heat all the way around the mug. And then I just let it do its thing. So it takes a couple of minutes for this. So the mug itself, Donna asked a really good question. There are two mugs that I'm showing you guys. The first one is starts out as being this glittery silver. This is the blank. You could get a totally plain white mug and they do sell them at Craft Express. And there's other colors besides silver. And that's the other one we've been playing with, which is the ombre one. So this ombre one is really pretty. There's also some other colors. Head to Craft Express, do search, look for mugs, and there's a plethora. There's a so many amazing mugs that are on there and they're all absolutely gorgeous. We're just playing with these two today. And then yes, we are adding designs to them. So um, is that wax paper around the mug? No, the paper that's around the mug is a protective paper. There's no wax because wax would melt and make your mug press all yucky. And it's not parchment paper. It's a special heat protective paper that is not going to damage your image. It's not going to damage the mug and it won't damage your machine. And it can be reusable as long as it's clean. All right. So once this first mug dries, I'll show you what I mean by clean. All right. Oh, we've got links up there. Awesome. <laughs> this, this is really cool. And if you're ever going to do mass production mug pressing, like again, you've got party favorites you're passing out, you're going to do whatever it is. This is phenomenal. And be careful to make sure, or I should give you a word of advice, make sure you're going to get mugs that can take heat transfer. There's a special kinds of mugs. All the ones on Craft Express are made for heat transfer and to work in this machine. So it's pretty cool. Okay, so let's get back to this guy. Let me show you. So I took a sheet of just paper and we're going to do one of these together so you guys can see how this works. The company's name is called Craft Express. So it's written on the side of the machine where you guys can't see because it's right there. <laughs> of course. Let me grab the box. Let me show you guys the box. Show you the box. Yeah, all, I mean, it's got a label on it. It's just, it's just off screen so you guys can't see it. So this is the box that it comes in. It's called Craft Express. So it's written right there. And the links are all down in the information section. So you guys can head over to Craft Express and see all the links for it. I love all the questions. Keep them coming, keep them coming. All right, so copy paper, regular old paper from your printer. And then I put down the stencil. 
right? So you can see there it is lined up. And then I used special inks specifically for heat transfer. And so I did the yellow, the orange, and then I did the yellow, red, and orange. And then I used my blender brushes and I blended it. We're going to do one of these together. So don't fret. It's not, you're like, she's not going to tell us what it is. This was my teaser to show you guys. So then I pulled it off. I attached it to my mug and then I heat pressed it just like this one's doing right now. And look how beautiful this is on the silver. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that. So what I have just off camera here, which we're gonna do it right here, is I have another stencil. Again, I have copy paper, and this is where I made an oopsie. I laid this down right here, and see the black ink that's right there? That's gonna be a problem. It dinged, it's telling me it's close. It had a black ink marker right there, and that's gonna transfer, and I'm gonna get this really silly look of mine. I'm like, well, it's paper. So if you mess up, take it away, start over. So I'm going to show you now what you're also going to notice is the words are backwards. You have to make everything near image. So for stencils is super easy. Flip it over. Make sure that it's the other direction, right? So we're going to reveal this right now and we're going to do a little more stenciling. There we go. All right. So this right here is what's going to attach to our mug and the stencil is so pretty. It gives your a life to your stencils, just so much more life to your stencils. And now we're going to reattach. And all I want to do is I want to do some more of the really pretty flowers. Okay. So we're going to come in and we're going to attach our flowers right here, just like that. And for some reason, of course, cause I have a dog, there's doggy fur on here. <laughs> now I'm going to, this is just plain old washi tape because this is just to hold everything down so it doesn't shift around on me. And then we're going to, and if you notice, I've also, whoop, it's ready, it's ready, it's ready. All right, pull this out. Got a little assembly line. All right, so careful, pull this out. Now, I don't know if you guys can feel the steam, but it's ready, but it's super duper hot. We're going to put it back over on our little cooling mat that I have just off to the side here. And just to looking, okay, so this one is still toasty, but it's enough that I can touch it. So it's not horrible, horrible. We're not quite ready to put another element in here yet. So we're just gonna turn this off and that's not turning it off guys. Pushing the button is not turning it off. That's activating it, which we don't wanna do. So you have to hold it down for three seconds. There we go. And the machine, like I can touch the machine. It's totally fine, but I'm just gonna shift it back. So we have room to do our stencil, but I wanna do the big reveal on our first mug which was with the heat transfer tape or the heat transfer vinyl, HTV. So I'm just gonna come in, the handle is quite cool. So I'm gonna come in with my gloved hand. See the paper pulls away. And if there's no color, and there's no color on this, I can reuse this paper and I'm going to, I'm gonna use it for the next one that we're gonna do. And then I'm gonna very carefully peel this back. And if it doesn't pull right away, Having a little bit of a problem. There we go. This might need a little bit more time. See, it's just, it's not quite pulling. So we're gonna let this go a little longer. We're gonna put it back in and that's okay. Let it go a little longer. Nothing wrong with that. I need a little more tape because it's not sticking quite where the way I want to. Introduce you to Craft Express. You're absolutely welcome. So if it doesn't, this is why I always do a peek always double check to make sure and it could be the it's probably the vinyl um something about the vinyl is not quite wanting to stick the way i need it to and that's okay nothing wrong with that let's see if this goes in nicely oops i turn it back on all right nope i didn't put my tape on there well enough i figured <laughs> i figured because i also put this on upside down there we go it's not super duper hot right now but it will be in a minute so I'm just reattaching it. It's warm, but it's not screaming at me like super screamy hot. But enough that I'm not gonna get in there with my fingers and be pushing too hard. So again, always check to make sure that your vinyl or whatever you're doing, like the image is the way you want to. And if it's not where it is, don't pull it off yet. Put it right back on because you haven't removed it and put it back in again. So we're gonna pop this back in and let it do it again. So while that's doing that, let's do our next one. Okay, so 
I did this backwards because we want to be able to have it seen on our mug, right? So now we're going to go in and we're going to move this right to here. Yeah, right about there. There is good. We got some really pretty flowers over on the side here. So, but like that, we'll do that. We're not trying to cover up everything, but we're trying to cover up enough. Now, see how we have the words here? I don't want the words to show again. So I'm actually, whoops, wrong tape, wrong tape. Save that tape for later. I'm gonna take my washi tape and create a mask, which means if I don't want that part to be seen, we're gonna cover it up. We're gonna make sure you cannot see it. So we are good to go. So I'm gonna label this down, make sure it doesn't wiggle around on me. And then we're gonna cover up the parts that I don't want to have actually be stenciled. So again, creating that mask. So just come in with your tape. Washi tape is amazing because it covers all the stuff you don't, oops, wrong tape, Erin. <laughs> I keep grabbing the heat transfer, the heat tape. I don't want the heat tape, I want the washi tape. There we go. So anywhere where I might accidentally hit and stencil is what I'm covering up. Now, if you're not picky, and we're going to do another one where I'm not picky about what I see, then you don't have to do this step. This is just because I want to use one stencil. I love all the flowers, but I don't want the words repeated. I hope everybody's having an amazing, amazing day. You guys are rocking it. Having a wonderful day. It's Friday. Big things happening in our house tomorrow. It's my daughter's birthday, so we've been getting ready for that. Her party is happening tomorrow. I'm going to have a whole bunch of little 10-year-old girls at my house. What am I in for? <laughs> it's going to be a crazy, crazy day and evening. They're having overnight. All right, continue. I'm just reading some of the comments. Yes, yeah, so all the stencils I'm using are from a company called uh, Crafters Workshop. And then I'm using the Artist Spree um, heat um, or the, the inks and stuff. So it's really cool. Links are down below. Craft Express has got a wonderful range of beautiful products that you can heat transfer and heat press. All right, I feel like I've got a pretty good job on there. So now I'm gonna come in with my black because we're gonna do this on the ombre and I'm just doing black. So here we have the black. And we are going to stencil. And it dinged, means it's getting close. And we're going to stencil on all these beautiful flowers. So I'm just taking a regular old brush that you would have been able to get on, I got this one on Amazon. And it's just, it's a makeup brush, it's a stencil brush. And I'm using, and the brush I'm using for this is specifically only gonna be used for this ink. I'm not gonna transfer and use this for like ink for card making. So do not move your ink from one thing to another. Keep this only for sublimation. So this is a special sublimation ink. You cannot use your regular old ink that you have anywhere. And we're just going to blend in that beautiful flower. Once you get everything lined up, it goes really fast. It's just a matter of lining it up and getting it ready. Oops, I missed some down here. This part's fast. It's getting it all ready. There we go. Get a nice good coat. And I'm doing this all in black because our mug is ombre. And so I really want it to pop and to shine. I was like, well, if it's already got a color, because we're going to put it on this mug, the black is going to be, whoops, I got to go get that, whatever just fell. The ombre is going to be a really pretty color. That's going to be great. <gasps> there it is. All right. So let's pull this off. Pull this out, I should say. And we're going to pop this out. Now I'm going to let this come to a complete cool. I don't want it to get to the point where like 100% dry because that's probably why it wasn't pulling this off. Okay, so I'm not using this anytime soon. So I'm going to hold down the button for three seconds. And you hear it ding, that means it's off. And if you're not using it, do not leave it on. All right. Okay, so now we're going to pull this up. We're going to see our really pretty image. All that washi tape is sticking to everything. Look at that. So there it is. Now I did have a little bit of, and this is where I screwed up. You guys see that? There's a little bit of a shading happening right there. That is going to transfer. So either I go do the whole thing again and redo it. Don't mind the ink on the table. Or I'm like, you know what? I live with it, which at this point, I think I'm going to live with it. If you wanted to redo it, you totally could. Okay. The last thing I want to do is there's this really, really pretty butterfly up here. And I'm going to add that right there. So I'm going to take my stencil. I'm going to pop it's okay if it's coming off the page a little bit. This is how you can move your stencil around. 
And what I forgot to do is I forgot to put a little bit of a border on my stencil when I was stenciling it on to prevent it from transferring the color over. I mean, you know what? I'm going to use new because I'm going to do the pink and I don't want to have the black be a problem. All this here, totally fine. I'm just going to add a little bit of a border because all I want is that butterfly. And then once that's done, you just add it to your mug and you're good to go. So I'm just going to go right here like that. So I only see the butterfly. You don't have to be as meticulous. Could you use a sand eraser to take away the, you know what? I've never tried the sand eraser on this. I know exactly what you're talking about. Tombow makes a wonderful one. There's a whole bunch of beautiful ones out there. I've never personally tried that on here, but part of the problem, I'm looking for my pink, here it is. Here's my pink. Um, part of the problem is that it's right over top of some words. I'll show you when I lift it up again. All right, so I'm just gonna go in with the pink. Just getting that butterfly. That's it. That's all I had to do. All that work for like two seconds of, you know, blending. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> Here, I'll show you where the boo boo is. So, see how it's right over top of this? You know, you could. So, now this is what's going to transfer. Everything that's on here is going to transfer. Isn't that pretty? From one little stencil, little six by six stencil. It's not too shabby. Okay, so now we're going to put this on our ombre mug. So, you know what? Let's see. Do I have my eraser right here with me? I think it's buried in my other drawer. I'd be willing to try, but I don't want to have to spend 10 minutes hunting it down. We're going to pretend the oopsie didn't happen. Yay for lives. <laughs> All right, and we're going to go ahead and attach our mug press. So since I know I'm going to be getting here pretty quick, I'm going to go ahead and turn this back on to get it to warm up because I'm almost to the point where I'm going to use it and I want it to be ready. So... If you're getting to the point where, oh, and it's already warm, so that's fine. So line this up. Again, I wanna go right to the, I like having that border top and bottom. Again, this is just copy paper, nothing more special than just copy paper. And then this is the special inks that we were using. There we go. That's on there. And then now we're gonna add just some more tape on the corners to make sure nothing picks up on the edges all the way around, and then we're gonna add our paper back to it. And then we're gonna see if our other colored image that we did, the one that my daughter made for her teacher using the markers. Let's see how that did. Oops, so see how it's not quite flush? I'm gonna make sure it's nice and flush. So you don't have to have fancy you know, printing machines if you want to, you can definitely get them, but there's also some really cool images you can get. Craft Express has some really fun images that are already pre-ready to go. So you can also get those, or you can play around with other things like heat transfer vinyls and stuff like that. So sky is the limit, guys. Don't feel like you have to have a special printer and all kinds of stuff. There's so many ways. All right, I feel like that's on there pretty good. Now we need our paper. And remember I said, as long as your paper doesn't have anything coloring wise this is just actually that does see there's a i don't know if you guys can see that there's a hint of yellow on there so i don't want to use that so i don't know if where the other one went so we're just going to use a new round if there's color on it i don't want to use it because i could transfer the color so that, that yellow that yellow could transfer on here and i don't want to make that mistake all right so i cut way too much paper but that's okay it's all good and i don't know why my screen is glitchy Sorry about that, guys. Something about being live, I guess. There we go. And you don't have to like cut through the mug like I am. I'm just trying to cover up anywhere there is an image. I'm gonna make sure I'm good. You know what? I'm going to. It's there. <laughs> Solve that problem. There's no image in there, so I don't need to worry about trying to put something in there. And I wanna make this nice and flat at the bottom. Again, get my tape. If you guys have any more questions, please ask, happy to answer. And if you just jumped on, I may have said it already. I'll be happy to say it again, no problems. Love to hear what you have to say. Pop this in. Okay, so this is ready to go. This is all set to go. I've got my heat transfer paper, my protective paper on there. Image is there, pop it in. We've already set the temperature and the time. Set it and forget it. Close it and it's good. 
All right, so this is my daughter's mug that we did earlier in the show, and it has gotten to the point where it's pretty much dry or cooled off. It's still a little cool to the or warm to the touch, but it's not crazy. It's not like, oh my God, banana's crazy. So we're gonna go ahead and peel this off. Again, we're gonna do the test to see where it's at. All right, so we're going to test this. I'm just gonna peel off. And there it is. See how it transferred? Did see how there's color there now? Now, am I using special tape? Absolutely, I'm using very special tape. Truly, it is. I'm not being condescending or mean. <laughs> this is a special tape that is used for transfer paper or for um, for heat. So it can take the heat as we're doing this. I don't know why I'm being so careful. I can just rip this off. There we go. It was stuck. And so you want to use, if you used washi tape or scotch tape or any of those other tapes, it would melt in the heat press because you're going to a super, super hot. So it's a heat resistant tape. Yeah. And so that's what you want to use. Okay. It's like sticking. <laughs> the tape sticked really well, stuck really well. There we go. This is all going to go in the trash when it's done anyway. So it's no big deal. There we go. And then there's her mug. Look how fun that is. Now yeah. she used pastel markers on the top which, and you can barely see the markers there. I mean, they're super, super faint. If she had used a darker marker, so just to show you, she used these pastel colors, not this one, sorry, like these colors, so they're very faint, and they're just a little bit more of a hint. So like she added more to the ombre. You can tell from the original mug. Do I have an original mug? Yes, I do, right off screen, just to show you guys the difference. So in the original mug, she's added a little bit more color, but not like crazy color. It's just a little bit more. Um, if she had more to this, but you can definitely see the bottom where the black is showing up. So just be careful if you are doing the colors, if you want it to be super vibrant, use colors that show and pop really, really well, All right? And you can tell, like this is what she originally colored. It's very faint here, but this is definitely brighter and more intense. So that is the mug that she's gonna give to one of her teachers. That cute. And it started off looking like that. And then she colored and she made it look amazing. And then her other ones, so these are the two that my daughter colored using the, the markers you can see right here. She colored and one we did in silver and one we did in the ombre. Isn't that adorable? I love those. They're the best. Now I wanna show you another technique I did. This one right here. And look how vibrant these colors are, right? So my daughter, she loves rainbows. She has a thing for rainbows. And so we definitely wanted to, I was inspired by her and her rainbowness. And I pulled out, there's also paint. So I pulled out the paint and there's a whole variety of colors. And these are all the colors I used right here. And so what I did is I took the sheet of paper, again, same old copy paper, right? I took a sheet of copy paper and I stuck down three hearts right here and they were um, like masked hearts. They were like at a um, non repositionable tape. So I cut, I cut out hearts out of paper and then I stuck them on there. And then I took the paint just like, and then I just did swashes of paint. And then I peeled the hearts off. I went back in with a black marker and I colored in these two hearts and I left this one just as an outline. Put it onto the mug, just like you guys saw me do it all previously. And look how pretty that is. Isn't that cool? I just think that was fun. Um, can this be done on a drinking glass? So there is a ton of different mugs and cups and things out there. The key thing is, is whatever container you put it on, you need to make sure that it has, it's ready for heat transfer. So it has to have a poly coating on it. So you can't use this for any old like stemware glass. It has to have that poly coating. If you go to Craft Express, there is a plethora of different products out there that are blanks that you can transfer images onto that you've colored, you've stenciled, you've printed, all those kinds of things, but they have to have that special coating in order for that image to stick, for that sublimation to happen. So we're transferring, it's sublimation is a really fancy word for transferring from a solid directly to a gas. And that's what's able, the heat is allowing that to happen. So it's transferring from one thing to another. All right, so it popped, it opened up, ta-da. And then I'm gonna put my glove back on and we're gonna let this guy set. Here we go. So there is so many different things that you can get. There we go. And this is super duper hot. So we're going to let this just do its thing right off the side and let it cool. 
So there's a, whoops, there is a ton of different products out there, but again, all the mugs over on craft express, as long as they fit within this and it says 12 ounces or 14 ounces, they fit in this, but there's also tumblers you can get. Those are really, really, I didn't bring one over here. I should have brought my tumbler over, but they have tumblers. There's a lot of really, really amazing products that you can drink wear that you can sublimate and you can add in heat transfer to. So hopefully that answers your question in a long roundabout way. All right. So I want to show you another one that we're going to do together, but it fell back behind my screens. So I'll be back one second. It just, it fell back there. <laughs> I got to go get it. Fell on the ground. We're getting another stencil. It like fell off my desk the other direction. Go figure. All right. So we have another sheet of paper. And this is this is a sheet of paper. We're going to line this down. And we're going to put this on the backing. So I like just using plain old paper. And I'm just going to use the back of one that I've already used. Let's clean this up because it's kind of a mess right now. Get all the stuff out of the way. You don't need to see. So I just have my copy paper. And then I have, this is the paper that's going to get attached to the mug. And I'm going to put a beautiful big stencil onto this one right here. And then we're just going to tape it down so it doesn't move. So stencils are super easy because you can do so many things to them. So, so far we have used stencils. We have used, I'm going to show you guys the, the, the best way to do this. Take your stencil, take your paper, put that on and do this with it. That way you're not blocking off and it won't wiggle around as much. So you flip it over and tape it to the stencil versus taping the stencil to the paper. It's just a different way of doing it, especially considering I wanna go all the way from this side to this side. All right, and then I'm gonna tape my stencil down so it doesn't wiggle as I am blending. There we go. So this is gonna be a little bit like the ombre, but with the flower in there. So we're just gonna tape this to here. All right, so I have all my beautiful colors and we are gonna be playing with Let's do pink and let's do some purple and let's do maybe some blue. Yeah, let's go with those colors. Those are my favorites. So I've got my inks on here. So we're going to go with, let's go with purple first. We'll do that ombre again. So we'll go per pink, purple, blue. How about that? Pink to purple to blue. So we're going to do pink. Oops. Oh, I need to add it to here too. I was like, why is this moving? I've taped everything down. If it moves, it's gonna possibly cause an oopsie. Now, the first one I showed you when we ink blended, there was very like lots of little stuff going on. Again, I'm not using this, so I'm gonna turn this off. Hold down three seconds. There we go. And we're, this one is you put it down and we're just making a pretty design. And this is gonna go on the silver mug. So I'm gonna do pink, come in with a little bit more color really saturate the color because I want it to really pop on that glittery mug. There we go. Here's the pink. Put that away. Put this lid on so I don't make a mis make an oopsie. Now we're going to go in with the purple. Uh oh, oh, it's just my, it's my, I was like something shifted. It was the paper under here, which I don't care about. It's just my background paper. Now I'm going to come in with the purple. Keep adding color. There we go. So I'm thinking thirds, and I may not be exactly right on the thirds, but that's okay. Lots of color. I always gravitate. I love ombre looks. I think it has a really big, you could do, you know, all different kinds of fun looks on here, but I just love the look of pick three colors and turn them into like some sort of really pretty ombre. Now we're going to go in with the blue. So if you've got stencils at home, this is such a cool way to like give your stencils an extension of life because they're really, really fun. It's gonna be a little bit more blue on this one. That's fine, it's my favorite color. Tealy blue, I'm, I'm a cool tones kind of girl. That's my, my go-to for colors, but I love warm tones too. I don't know, I like color in general, whatever color it is. There we go. Now the big reveal when you pull your stencil up, Get all the stuff out of the way so we are good to go. Big reveal. And because I stuck it onto the stencil, we're going to peel it off of this right here. So this is the reveal here. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And that is going to go onto the mug. 
So something as simple as just a little bit of special, and again, this is special iron on ink, heat transfer ink. It's not just any old ink. And look how gorgeous that is. Now, again, I cannot use the washi tape on our mug because it's going to melt. So we're going to take that away and we're going to use that special heat transfer tape on our mug. And for this one, we're going to do it on the silver. All right. So let's go ahead and attach this. And this will be our final mug for today because we've done so many. We've done oodles and oodles and oodles of mugs. We've been having fun. All right. And then wrap it around. And I love that if I screwed up, which... We'll see what the other one looked like, the one that had the wild and free on there. I'm hoping it's not super obvious. But if you screw up your paper, you can always go back. Like this is the first one I did. And I'm like, it's, it's I don't want to do that. I pull it away and I'm not using that one. I'm, I'm going to start all over because I don't want to mess up on my mug. Now, unfortunately, because I'm live, that took a lot of time to set and prep. There's a lot of prep work that has to go. As you can tell, you want to make sure everything looks really good or it could mess up the final look of the mug. So just being cautious. A couple more pieces. I'm just putting the transfer tape. I have mine in a little tape rolly thingy, so it's just much easier to, to grab it. But there's lots of really good heat transfer. I need one more right there. I'd already pulled it off, so we're going to use this one. Just want to make sure it doesn't. Oops, should have gone all the way to the edge, Erin. Silly Erin. It is going to look amazing. It's going to look awesome. 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 So what would you guys put on there? Would you stencil? Would you do heat transfer? Like what's your jam? What's your vibe? What would you like to do? All right. We need to grab some more of our protective paper. What would be your inclination for a project? You're going to make or and or what mugs, aren't they pretty colors? What mug? Like I, we're going to use this as teacher gifts. That's why I'm making so many of them in all different kinds because I've got three kids I'm just going to stick this on here. Three kids, and they're three different levels of school. And my daughter's easy. She only has her two main teachers. So that's just two mugs. That's not crazy business, right? My other kids, though, that's a lot of mugs. So this is why it makes it really easy is because I can make a ton of mugs, and they all can be a little different, or they all can be a little bit the same. And I'm not breaking the bank going out and buying a ton of gifts. All right, so let's see. Now, I'm just going to turn this on. There we go. So just to show you guys, so it's right off here. So see how it's going? I don't know if you guys can see how it's red and doing your thing. So it's warming up. So while that's warming up, I'm going to go back to our other mug, which is still a little warm, but we're going to do the big reveal on one of our other mugs that's been over here. So this one's still a little bit warm. This is the one that we did the stenciling with the all black on the ombre and then the little butterfly up here, right? So let's go ahead and pull this off and see where we're at. And I'm going to show you why you want to use protective paper. You guys can see right here, do you see how there's a little bit of stenciling on the paper itself? So that's why you put the protective paper. If I didn't put that protective paper on there, okay, that's ready. So we're going to load it in. There we go. And I've already set time and temperature, so it's just stick it in. I'm thinking of making Halloween. Ooh, Halloween stuff be fun. So if I didn't put the protective paper, what is ever is on this paper would be now on the inside of this mug press, and it would transfer to every other press I did after that. So this is just your safety paper to make sure you don't screw up further projects. You spend all that hard work. You don't want to mess it up. And no, since this one has color on it, it's very, very faint. If I if I use this paper again, it's going to transfer to the next project I do. So if it's got color, don't use it again. Bottom line. Um, something we could set up at church bazaars for kids to make gifts. Yes. Oh, I love that idea. This is a great project because not the actual heating part of it. An adult needs to do that. But giving the kids cutting out. This is what I did with my daughter. I was like, okay. I gave her two of these. And I said, can you color for me? I want, these are for your teacher. I want you to color and make this for your teacher. So I gave her the markers. Now keep in mind, special markers, special markers, special paints and special um, inks. It's, there's, it's all specifically made for sublimation, right? You can give them the paint. They can paint a picture. They can color a picture. The only key thing you have to worry about is words because if they wrote a word normally, when you heat press it, it's going to be backwards. So you can tell them as long as there's no words on there, you're good to go. 
That's that's the one caveat. Unless you have a stencil and you flip it over like we, we're going to do on this one. I'm going to do the reveal in a minute. So, but yeah, it's a great way to get a whole bunch of kids involved. If you've got youth, then they get to take their thing home that they made, which is just so cool. I love that. It's like that little personable item for themselves. Okay, let's go. I'm going to put my mug, my handheld. This is the heads up. This is the um, HTV that I used on the mug, but it needs to come to a complete cool because if you're trying to pull it while it's still warm, it tends to try to peel off on you and that's no fun. Okay, so this is cool. We're going to do a quickie test as I rip all the stuff. There it is. See how it transferred? See how that color? I'm just doing a little peekaboo just to make sure. There we go. And we're good. I need my fingernails in here. It's this little spot in here. Like you don't want it to move and then it's obviously not moving. Okay, you ready? You ready? Here we go. There it is. Now that I think is my favorite now. And that little hit of pink that's up there. Look at that. That's just so much fun. I love it. And this is where a little oopsie happened. I think what happened here, so this is why you have to glue everything in place. I think when it went in, and just to show you, this is live, so things happen. Um, it moved a little bit, probably when I put it in and then it smushed as it was inside. But so just be careful. That's why I said like tape, 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 tape as much as you possibly can. And that little spot that I was worried about, remember I, I had that little spot right through here. Yeah, you can see it like it like smushed and it folded on itself. There's a little fold right there and that's why it didn't do a good job. That's my fault, not the machine's fault. That's a user error on that part. But that little funky line that was in there, I don't see it. Well, actually, it was right where the other oopsie happened. <laughs> but look how pretty that is. You know, and even with the oops, I still love it. And it's, it's okay, so I'll just to show you, because I'm going to use it with the gloved hand. It's on there. It's not coming off. See? Nothing's coming off. It is fully, fully on there, which I think is awesome. Love it. All right, so just to go through while that is heating up and showing you all the cool mugs we made. So this was the first stencil mug, which it's not hot, so I can take my thing on. And I use ombre. So same concept. These two are the very similar concepts, but with two different backgrounds of mugs. Um, use so much tape, you can hardly see the mug. Yeah, you do want to use a lot of tape to make sure. And I, I'm, I didn't use as much as I should because I'm trying not to sit here too long. <laughs> but I can pick this up. It's not horrible to the touch. So here are two that I use stencil. The third stencil is in there right now. Um, this one was with the paint and I did a little masking effect with it. So this is with the paints that you can get. So this is the heat, the iron on ink paint. Look how vibrant those colors are. That one's really pretty. And then these two were my daughter. I gave her a sheet of paper. I gave her these pens and she had a ton of fun and she loves stars. And it's her writing and her stuff that she's going to give to her teachers, which I think is super, super cool. There it goes. All right, so let's put this off to the side. And then just to rehash back to the first one we made, let's move this over. Now, where'd I put it is the next question. This was the first one I made. Oh, no, nope, that's not the first one I made. Where'd it go? Oh, it's hiding, it's hiding. This one I made off screen and we're done with our heat press now. So I'm gonna hold for three seconds to turn it off. There we go. I'm just gonna shift this to the back here. And this one is using HTV. And again, it's not hot anymore. I don't know why I'm doing that. It is on there. You have to let it fully cool before you remove it. This was the first one we did. And let's see, like I can fully touch it. It's been resting for a good long while. So let's see what the, what the issue is. See if it worked. And we did heat this twice, but maybe I didn't let it come. Sometimes you can do a hot peel and sometimes you can do a cool peel. So this one definitely needs to be a cool peel. There we go. See, it just had to cool down all the way so it didn't stick fully cool peel. But if you're not sure, and this is what I did with this one, I know I'm kind of waiting. If you're not sure, there's nothing wrong with putting it back in the press again, just to make sure because you put all that work in it and you don't want to mess it up. So look at that. There it is. So that's with the HTV on here. Look at that. So this is a free file. You get both of these. There's actually, and there's a third one. So these are using the HTV. So I love the black on the ombre. I think it really just like pops and shines. So if you are interested in getting that file, it is free. Um, here is all three. It's live your dream, make 
today epic and reach for the stars all like really inspirational like i can do it you know like nothing's gonna stop me now i love that song from queen by the way but so if you want any of those they're free they're over on my website and you can use them for whatever you like but they do work on these mugs with a mug press with your htv vinyl so which is heat transfer vinyl but look how cool those look aren't those fun and this is pretty much like i can fully touch this and it's on there it's not coming off um, another question people are going to ask me about dishwashers and the best rule i'm going to tell you for dishwashing is because you've added color in some way, I would hand wash all of these things, especially just because you don't want the image to tarnish over time. I would give it a nice clean little hand wash just to be safe. You don't want to put it in the dishwasher and then everything comes off or whatever. It's just anything handmade, always be just a little bit more careful. So that's that would be my suggestion to you. Just be a little extra gentle with them. Could you put it in the dishwasher? Oh yeah, sure. But would it fade over time or damage? Probably. So just as a heads up. Okay, let's check out the last one. This is the one that we did with the ombre with the flowers. I'm gonna put all the mugs this way so you guys can see them all because they're so cool. That one is, this is what it started out looking like, remember? That's with the, these are the three that we did the ombre. And then here is the other ombre that my daughter did with the coloring. Isn't that fun? And then here we have, this is stencil. This is more coloring on silver. And then this one was the paint. And you know, you can put little things inside the mugs as gifts too. You know, have all kinds of fun with it. Pencils, gift cards. All right, so let's do the reveal on this one. It gets addicting too. You're like, oh, what else can I make? What other designs can I do? And I'm gonna put my glove back on because that's still a little bit warm. Um, if it's sublimation, nothing will come off. All sublimation items are top rack dishwasher. Oh, so there's a good, okay. Um, this is from the company itself. There we go. This is from the company itself. Top rack dishwasher is safe and will not fade. There you go. See, I, I'm being like extra cautious and careful going, just be gentle with it. And, he's, and they're like, just do it. So there's the answer from the company themselves. <laughs> and they're telling you exactly what can be done. I love that. So yeah, throw it in the top rack. I'm totally going to be watching all these. <laughs> all right. So let's take a look at this guy right here. Take the paper off there we go and you can see oh look see there's that little bit of purple right there that's why i don't want to use this so very cool all right now let's take a look the big reveal i love the big reveals they're so much fun and this one's still pretty warm but i want to show you guys because i'm excited and look my little sneaky peeky right there it is good to go you put it on there so much with the tape and then they have a hard time getting it off <laughs> i'm gonna use I'm going to use my, this is what I use for my weeding when I was weeding out all the HTV. There we go. Thank you, Craft Express, for answering that question. I truly appreciate it. Sorry. There we go. And look at this one. So purple, let me go this way. Blue to pink. Look at that. Isn't that fun? I'm in love. I was trying to show you guys about putting gifts in there. So I threw a couple of teas and like a gift card. So you could totally do that in any of these mugs. And, you know, like I found some really pretty little markers. So not that marker. <laughs> so you could throw some markers in there. And that could be a really, really quick, quick and easy, fun gift. I cannot say the words today. That could be a really fun gift that you give to teachers. And I don't know a single teacher that would not enjoy that. I used to be a teacher. And the gifts that I remember kids giving me, I mean, I got gift cards and stuff and I got taught high school. So I wasn't getting like oodles and oodles of gifts, but the gifts that I remember the teachers giving or the kids giving me were the ones that were handmade. I specifically remember a, it was like a clear um, paint can that had ribbons on it, had the name of our school. And it was just really quite cool. So, you know, the, I still, I would have had it, but my son destroyed it. <laughs> my oldest, he was two at the time. So toddlers can destroy anything, let me tell you. And another one was a blanket that somebody made. But if you gave somebody like this and it had, as long as you did reverse, you did mirror image, you could put the name of the school. They can put the teacher's name on there. I try to go generic for you guys to show you some fun things, but just plain designs, really pretty designs or just inspirational words are totally fun and amazing. And they can be used as a mug, like to drink out of, because it's super cool. And really, that was a hot one because it's glittery. And who doesn't love a glittery mug that doesn't 
it doesn't shed, it doesn't come off, it's on there, right? Um, and or they can use it as a thing to put pens or pencils in on their desk. They can use it as a storage item. Mugs are awesome for so many ways. Not all about you guys, but I always have like containers with pens and pencils all over the place. And if it's cute and fun, it looks great. I mean, just look. And that looks like the cutest up there. It's adorable. You can have all kinds of fun ones up there. I mean, they just, they look really pretty as an ornament just kind of on themselves, especially when it's inspirational. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I do want to make one last final announcement because I'm super, super stoked about all this funness that is going on. Craft Express is one of our amazing sponsors for my 20,000 subscriber giveaway. So the link is down below if you would like to join in to be part of that amazing giveaway. And let me show you all of the really cool people that are a part of it. Craft Express, I need to make their logo a little bit darker. It's kind of hiding. It's down at the bottom. <laughs> Put a white background on it, probably. So Craft Express is one of the amazing sponsors for my 20,000 giveaway. You're going to get a gift card from them. So if you would like to get a gift card from Craft Express and all the other amazing companies that are part of my 20,000 subscriber giveaway, a link is down below and it says 20K giveaway entry form. Click on that. It's a Google form and that is your ticket to enter. So thank you guys so much for joining me and hopefully I've expanded your thought process and or inspired you to think outside the cup and go for a mug with Craft Express Heat Express. Thank you guys. Don't forget to head over to Craft Express, check out all the amazing products, check out their YouTube channel and also their all their social media and all the links are down below. Have a wonderful wonderful day and I will see you guys again later. Bye everybody.